Uh, raisins. Uh, uh, so frosty. Uh, where? Where am I? Hello. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. Good Especially morning. One hell of a nightmare. Yeah, it's all right. I was right. wondering if you're ever going to wake up. Ah. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you on the escape pod. Do you remember? I remember I'm Darth Zal, Dark Lord of the Sith. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm Ali and Morse. Uh, how, did, how did we get here? You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not Music to is very loud. Safe. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Oh, well, thanks. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. Yeah. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. Yeah, that's pretty much all of them. come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. All right, but why is it so important? Why? What's why is she important? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Well, if she's a Jedi, she can look after herself. Basila's gonna need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important, but if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Basila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Basila's no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Well, if she's so great, how come they managed to blow up the ship? We, we were fucked up there! Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. Mm. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help, and we'll probably need hers. All right, I'll help you out. Let's let's get out of here. Good. We're going to need to work together if we're going to survive. Yeah. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Right, good. All right, that, that's a good lead. Come on, I want to scout this planet out a bit. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. All right, first, though, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn down this goddamn music. That is really loud. And now, hopefully that's better. All right, so, yes, welcome back to, uh, some KOTOR. Uh... It seems like it's very popular. Um, haven't heard any complaints about this game other than uh, I'll watch it, but I'd, I'd prefer to watch something else. Uh, still, thanks. Um, I am going to do some crafting now. I'm going to use the workbench. 
Uh, no, I don't, I don't have a lightsaber. I wish I did. But I am going to upgrade this bad boy. It, uh, it adds plus two to physical damage. Which kind of makes sense because it is a sword. Alright. And let's do... An ion blaster. It's good for it's good against droids and not much else. Oh, look at the size of that bad boy. All right. So I don't know. Should we talk to him some more? Let's talk to yes, him some more. Your mind. Uh, I want to know more about you. Me? Yeah. Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years, seeing more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. No, oh, I'm sorry. Must have been fatal. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders, and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. I didn't say you did. Yeah, sorry. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just, I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. All right, you got it. Uh, so we got Karth Onassi. He's going to be cool. He's, he's good with guns. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll, I'll take him. Alright, he's coming with me. Loading. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> Jesus. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. You have a different now, the voice. the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Well, th don't jump to such a conclusion. I mean, you're right. Yeah, anyways, you've got a different voice. You don't sound like this on the Xbox at all. Oh well, I'm just gonna shoot your droid now. And that one. Uh, anytime, Karth. Anytime you want to do something. Uh, would be much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you like that? Jiska do suki kuba na bona na gachu ab to yuko to kuyabi just kuna. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, just glad I could help. Jawara bota ayu ata honga chakanki dora kachi kui ta hodonga topa da bungwa li uba patu kachi tom nong bong shang yun ya. All right. Cool. What was he got? No, oh, he's got a rifle. Oh, he's got all these drugs too. I'm gonna take all that. Oh, and I level up. Level up. Um, let's do some persuade. That's useful. And that, and that. That's pretty much all I'm ever gonna do. Uh, feats. Hmm. That is. What, what is this? I didn't even. I can't even see. That's caution. Don't need that. That's empathy. Let's go with a crit. Critical strikes. Away. All right. Let's go. No What's in here. Got it. Oh, hello. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. I'm just... just investigating the area. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Who's Holden? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. Well, how so? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Ah, uh, you can. Come on. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Ah, uh, alright. 
I'm, I'll, I'll be, I'll be leaving. I don't much like strangers in my home. Well, don't have to be rude about it, bitch. I'm just, I'm just gonna help you. But fine, never mind. Yep, that's great. Uh, don't really care. I'm gonna leave. Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Yeah, but. Yeah, I, I know all about energy shields, thanks. Uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Alright, let's see. You've got some heavy weaponry. Heavy, we heavy armor. Oh no, that's still light. Heavy combat suit, that's light. Um, what do I have? I can't tell, because I am wearing it. Because I'm an asshole. Uh, don't need these. You can have that, and you can have that. Um, don't need a long sword. Cloven short swords don't cost anything. This none of this stuff weighs anything either, so it doesn't really matter. I am wearing a combat suit. That's four with a five. Uh, that's five with a four. That's six with a three. And this stuff's really good. There's a regular vibro blade, a quarter staff for two-handed. Hmm. Two-handed. No, sonic pistol. Sonic pistols are good um, because it um, it damages their dexterity when they get hit with it. So that means they'll miss more often. Um, like repeat and blaster. That's a rifle. Oh well, no, it's a heavy weapon apparently. Energy shields. I should get an energy shield, but no. Battle stimulants and grenades. You know what? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Piss off. I'm not gonna break into people's homes, because that's rude. Let's go to the upper city. Terrace. Oh, I can't look up again. That's alright, it doesn't you don't need to look up in this game. Woman. Hey, protocol droid. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taras. Oh, well, that's I nice. I am a protocol droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taras, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? Um, I need information, so I'm looking for the cantina. I need to find a way to the cantina. Uh... Uh, you don't have any information? Alright, well, I'll find the cantina on my own. Oh. Oh, what's up, Karth? Yes, what's in your mind? Well, I don't know. You look like you need to speak. You alright? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. Is this really necessary? Uh, if you don't have, if you have a problem with it, we don't have to. No, no, I have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. But mine? I don't know. I wasn't really, you know, in a position to know what was going on. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And for what? And the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastille had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Yeah. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Uh, I'm a scout. I recruited into the, f the fleet for my skills, if you have to know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. N are, are you saying it was me? Are you saying I sabotaged you? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. Well, it doesn't make any difference, so go ahead and be paranoid about it. I'm not trying to be paranoid. It's just that I learned a long time ago that something which looks like a coincidence probably isn't. 
especially when the Jedi are involved. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. And hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. Even birthday surprises? You poor son of a bitch. Well, either way, I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with the crash. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Alright, well, let's just, uh, get back to something important then. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Yeah, we can do that, so let's go. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk. All right, well, you're the one that looked like you had a fucking shit in your pants. The equipment Emporium. The shop. Let's go. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevlar Yurt. <coughs> Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well... Mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. I uh don't -huh. Sounds like they took all the good stuff. But I'll take a look anyways. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Top-notch, huh? Let's take a look at this then. Uh, that's junk. Uh, yeah, the guy tried to sell me one of these upstairs. Uh, I'm currently wearing this, and it's a pile of shit. Um, oh. Hmm. Do I want to go two-handed? There, there is no real bonus. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, because you do more damage. Yes, you do. You do more damage, but you miss more often. Whereas one-handed, you, you don't hit as much for as much, but you hit more often. A Sith sniper rifle. Hello. Alright, yeah, you got some shit. You got some, you got some stuff. I'm gonna sell some, I'm gonna sell you some things here. I don't, I don't need all these blaster pistols. Uh, blaster rifle. Oh, I do need one. Oh, wait, I probably have one. No, I don't. Uh, don't need these. Because I have that. Uh, I'm gonna keep the adrenals for once because I'm playing on a harder difficulty. So I probably need it. Hmm. I just sold a bunch of those. Uh you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Oh, first person. Oh, I can't move around though. Oh I can look up though. Kinda. That's a that's as that's as up as I can look. Alright. Let's Put thing here. Oh yeah. All right, we'll try that. We'll try that for a while. Oh, that's the cantina. Hello. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna go in here. There we go. Sir, you interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll buy it. Well, I had to see you're interested in the grand old game. Yeah. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Nope, no, I'll be, uh, uh, I'm just going to be going because I no, already know all about course, it. Of course. I just lost my deck on board the Undar Spire. All right, so basically I can now play games and such. Hey, how you doing? Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. Yeah, I'm not interested in chatting with Sith, thanks. First you come over and say hi, then you scurry off as soon as you find out I'm a Sith soldier. You Teresians are a funny bunch. Well, you're Sith. You're 
fucking scummy. I don't want to deal with you. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Or Who arena cares? tickets. It's Duncan and Girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. I'm gonna check this out. Arenas. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Twofinger. He just flipped here, off the camera. Looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. Why do they call him Deadeye? Uh, oh, here we go. Yes, draw. Oh, you dropped it, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah, you, you, okay. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. That's why they call him Deadeye. Worry, folks, okay. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? All right. That's the arena. Hmm. Fighting for money. I can do that. You suck. Hey. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. Yeah, or I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, shit, I fucking clicked too fast. Well, whatever. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. Alright, yeah, I'll be the mysterious stranger. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do a duel. <laughs> Yep, let's let uh, uh, Dead Eye Duncan? Yeah, simple. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna draw out this fight. Nope, nope, not just gonna kill him. Okay. It's over. <laughs> the fight is Pathetically over. easy. To do better than that to impress us, stranger. All right, all right, Mr. Arena announcer, I'll do better, and I shall win. Yes, I'm gonna go get paid, and I'll get in, I'll get into another fight. Yeah. Yeah. You always pay your debt. I'm just gonna skip past him. Ha. Yep. Yes, I want to fight again. Yes, I do. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Girl on two fingers. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Twofinger. And, and the mysterious stranger, yes. And I'm just gonna go. Oh, yes, I 
kicked him in the face and now he's down. Yes. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Gerlach losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? I am for real. Only time will tell. Ah, oh, nah. Ah, oh, that felt good. He's actually a worthy enemy. A worthy opponent for once. Unlike that Duncan fella. He fucking sucked. Anyways, give me my money. Yep, give me my money. Alright. Alright, so I think for now that's uh, pretty good. I think that's pretty good for now. Um, doesn't seem like anyone has any information about uh, anything. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? What? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why are you bossing me around? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. Oh, what a fucking bitch. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Okay, well, go, go ahead, you fucking bitch. What a bitch. Okay. So, uh, doesn't seem to like there's anything going on here in the, uh... Yeah, in the cantina. So uh, let's get out of here. We can we can extend our search somewhere else for now. Loading screen. There we go. That's how you heal. Oh, hello. Oh, you you want to fight? <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you better run, bitch. Fiber blade. You know, I probably am very, uh... uh not do... I, I... Now, see, see these numbers down here? This is my chance to hit with each hand. Now, if I was to take this off and replace it with, say, this, I get plus three instead of just negative four. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll, yeah, I think I'll just stick with one-handed. One-handed seems to suit me quite nicely. And uh, if not, I'll, I'll change eventually. Wow. So I think that's gonna, that's, that's enough for, for this episode. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I hope you like this episode. Not a whole lot of action, but some action and some more story. So yes, I'll see you then in the future.